So this question starts off by providing us with this fraction here. I actually am going to treat this like a simplified question. My, my hunch is that anytime you can simplify, you should. I might be wrong, but I can see that I can factor this numerator. So I'm going to call this an x times x plus 1 all over x plus 5. And again, we'll see if I'm right about that. The question goes on to say the given expression can be rewritten as a plus 20 over x plus 5. Okay, that's interesting. Where a is a polynomial. Okay, which of the following represents a? So whatever, so this answer, whatever the correct answer here is, rep represents an a value. Okay, and I know that a plus 20 over x plus 5 must be equal to now, I'm going to use my simplified version. Must be equal to x times x plus 1 over x plus 5. So what I'm actually going to do is just, I'm going to just solve for a, right? So I'm going to take this and move it over. And maybe, maybe I'm going to change my mind on using my simplified version. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to keep it as the original. So x squared plus x over x plus 5. So I'm going to subtract 20 over x plus 5 from both sides. So that leaves me with a is equal to, I have the common denominator for both, so I can combine the two fractions into a single fraction. I have x squared plus x minus 20 over x plus 5. And uh, is that it? So that's my a well i don't have that as an answer so let's see what happens when i what happens when i simplify the numerator here um two factors of negative 20 that add up to positive one would be five and negative four so this becomes x plus five x minus four when i factor the trinomial all over x plus five my x plus fives would then cross out and I just, I just be left with a is equal to x minus 4. There you go. So there's my a value. So choice A, funny enough, is the correct answer.